Card Flows, we know that you spend a lot of time perfecting the design and the settings of your funnels that you create inside of Card Flows. And that's why we wanted to make it extremely simple to be able to take those funnels that you've created and make them portable. This makes it very easy if you've built a funnel on one website and you want to duplicate it or take a copy of that funnel and put it on another website. Or maybe you're a funnel designer and you want to create funnels and sell those funnels. We wanted to make it very easy for you as well, as well as content creators that might want to give a funnel, a done for you funnel away as some form of a bonus. Well, I've got great news for you. We've made it extremely easy to make your funnels that you create inside of cart flows portable. Let me show you how to do this. So here I am on a website. It's a public website. It's not on a local computer or anything like that. And I'll go to cart flows and I have this one funnel right here. Let me click on view. This was created inside of Elementor and this funnel has multiple steps to it. When I click into it, we have these three steps right here. So we're going to go ahead and export all of this and then import it in a different website. So whenever you hover your mouse cursor over a funnel, there's some additional options that appear and we're gonna click where it says export. So I'll click right here and you can see a file just downloaded to my computer. Now I'm gonna go to a different website and you're gonna see the URL change. And here it is. Now this is actually a website on my local computer. So I'm gonna go to cart flows and I'll click here. And then I'm going to click on import and I'm going to drag and drop that file that I just downloaded right there. And then I'll go ahead and click on the import button. It's really fast. And so it says right here, successfully imported. So now when I click on cart flows, you're going to see there's that same funnel right here. And when I click on the view option right here, you're going to see everything's carried over the entire design and I can start editing or making any edits that I might want using Elementor. You saw how easy that is. And you can see when I click inside of the funnel, the same structure is there. All these settings that I had inside of cart flows is there as well. Now it's important to note that when you export a funnel like this, you saw I was here on a public website. When I create that export file, it doesn't include the images. So the website needs to be public so that when I do the import, it will look to the website where I created the export file and it will download the images from there. So if you have, say, that website I just made the export file from, if I deleted the funnel, deleted the images, deleted the website, this right here is what a funnel will look like when you import it. So here's a different one right here. I'll click on view and what you're gonna see, none of the images have carried over. Instead, we have this image placeholder. So everything else that makes up the funnel is there except the images. So you want to make sure that your export file is from a public website and you leave that website up. If you are, for example, selling the funnels, you'll want to make sure you leave that website up. So when your customers import that funnel, it will be able to download the images from that website. Lastly, I want to point out that this feature works with all of our officially supported page builders. So if I go to cart flows and then settings and I scroll down right here where it says show templates design, these are the official page builders that we support. So we have Elementor, Beaver Builder, Divi and Gutenberg. And if you use the export this way, it'll work perfectly with these page builders that I've listed right here. That doesn't mean it won't work with other page building tools. It just means these are the ones that we have tested it with and we have made sure that there's compatibility with. Every page building tool does things a little bit differently. So I just wanted to let you know in case you're using a page building tool other than the officially supported page building tools right here. Now that's it for this video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, it's a good idea to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So when we add new features, you will get notified. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.